Hi, I'm Joan Maurer of the BBG, formerly ran museum offices in Johannesburg and Mali. Um, uh, I am curious, um, and now I work with media in Africa, I'm curious how you think the media revolution, um, the incredible uh, taking up of social media and of the uh, cell phones and smartphones, how that's actually going to have an impact, if anything. I mean, you've been talking about Kagame. He's obviously terrible on press freedom issues, as are the Ethiopians. They're, they're really bad. Um, where do you see the whole media press issue going? Yeah, I, I, it's, it's complicated, and I think, as been said already, there are a bunch of different stories. I mean, the Rwanda story is interesting because, as you know, they're rated as an authoritarian country, not free. Uh, uh, very poor human rights record, but it's not an information-starved country in many ways. Kagame himself tweets, right? Um, and it's not the old authoritarianism uh, which, was, uh, which was closed in an information desert. I remember trying to convince um, Nathan Chamarirua, a fellow Princetonian, uh, when he was Minister of Information in the late 80s, that he shouldn't ban satellite uh, receivers for TV. Um, and I said, this would be great for Zimbabwe's economy. And he said, but then I wouldn't be able to control what information people got. Uh, I don't think people are under that illusion anymore. Uh, so, but it's not an information dry society, even if it has a bad human rights record. Just people are afraid. I think. Most of the predictions about social media have been wrong before, so if you make a prediction now, uh, your likelihood of being right is not very good. I think we're seeing very complex trends. On the one hand, anyone can post, blog, tweet. Um, and if you're an authoritarian country, you have to be careful, uh, and in a few countries you can't. But the democratization of information has been profound. On the other hand, a relatively few sources are coming to dominate uh, social media distribution, especially Facebook uh, in this country uh, and uh, really around the world. Uh, I think things are too nascent in Africa to figure out what's going on, but I think we have seen in this country that there can be enormous sources of information, but the sheer tidal wave of posts, blogs, tweets, and the like drive people uh, to relatively few sources of information. Yeah, you may have 400 channels on your television. You only use 12 on average. You may have a gazillion apps on your phone. You probably don't use 15, the studies say. Um, you can go to any website in the world. You're probably getting, if you're a millennial at least, most of your news from Facebook. Uh, so people have responded to this you know, confusing array of information by by going to fewer sources, which is, which is human in lots of ways. I just don't think we can quite see what's going to happen in Africa. Smartphone adoption is still relatively early stages. Broadband is still relatively expensive, uh, but there will continue to be explosive growth. Uh, the final thing I'll say on that is governments will adapt. And this was the mistake from the 1990s when we thought that governments would be hopeless in the face of the internet. They will adapt, and now there are lots of people who will sell them technologies uh, that will help them adapt to the internet for good and bad.